This is the little dragon. This is the foam accelerator. And what it does is makes thick foam like shaving cream foam. And it's infused with cement to make a product called Air Creek. And the Air Creek we're using today, we're using these cobblestones to make this magnificent patio. And today, we're going to show you exactly how to make the Air Creek product. What is in that uh, air, little dragon? What's in here is five gallons of just regular water and two cups of Dawn household detergent. That's all that's in there. Two cups of soap and five gallons of water. And what do you have it hooked to? And it's hooked to the air compressor. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this air compressor up to 90 pounds PSI. And it's going to cause enough pressure, air pressure, in the hose to make our foam for our accelerant. Okay, let's uh, start by pouring the six gallons of water in with the one bag of cement and we'll take it from there. By the way, this is Portland cement type one, two, and five and it's 92.6 pounds. You can purchase it at Home Depot. Okay, now that we've got our cement mixed up into a slurry, we're going to divide it into two buckets, equal parts. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make twice as much concrete or cement with the foam as you see here with the little dragon from Dominga.com we fire up our compressor here to bring up the air pressure the sun is right in the wrong place okay, okay. we're going to bring the compressor up to the right air pressure <laughs> Looking before about 90 psi on our compressor. How much? 90 psi. And then we're going to start our accelerator and we're going to make some foam. Okay. Okay, here we go. There's the foam. Now we're going to infuse it with the cement.
Now Make with sure. this mixer, this draws the foam down into the cement. Let me plug it in. It's a little loud. But as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm drawing the foam into the cement. As you can see, it only takes a couple of minutes. And we mix it until all the white foam is gone. You can kind of see the consistency, what it looks like. And if you notice here, we have twice as much product. Turning on the compressor. Oh, sorry. We're sharing plugs. on the accelerator, a little dragon, if you notice the thickness of the foam, it needs to be real thick like shaving cream. Okay, he's going to mix up this one. That's all done. I'm ready to be forward in the pour. Okay. Are we ready? We're ready. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Now that our cement and foam has been infused together, we mixed it up real good. This is the aircrete. This is what's going to go into the forms. We're going to let it dry for 45 minutes to an hour or so. Pull the forms off and this is the result of the finished product. Right, and you can use any form you want. While you're pouring this, can we talk about the problems that we've had while doing this? Uh, yeah. First problem being that I think we tried to get too many bricks for what we were doing and we got 10, almost 12 bricks uh, the first time. They were real thin and wanted to break up. Uh, another problem we had was uh, when you pulled the form off, some of it came apart and it made them... It was sticky. It, it was sticky and it... It ruined the bricks. We had to pull those out. Um, it was caused from not clean forms. They were oiled well, but they we didn't get all the concrete off. Another problems that we had: um, rain. It rained. We poured a batch, and then the, a thunderstorm came, and boy, did it ruin those bricks! It put big dented holes in them. Another thing you need to do is keep them once they get that little crusty leathery seal on the top you need to keep them moist and damp at least for a few days 
the concrete doesn't like to dry out real fast. So keep and that in mind. This is the air, the foam injector machine is made by Domingo. And just to be fair to them, we have not taken their classes yet. Um, we're well, just we doing to. this on our own. We do want to take the class very much. So if this is not the way they would have done it, I'm sure it probably wasn't. Um, it's not their fault. And we appreciate the machine. It's been wonderful for what we've used it for and hope to see them soon. We are not representatives of Dominga.com or Dominga, but we do endorse their product very highly and that's why we're doing this great video. And by the way, these are our spare blocks for in case we break or crack one, we have some spare pieces. We have some good Look how good these are coming out. I don't want to make it look like I'm a favorite doctor, but she's actually deserving of the position. It's a tough You made a decision. <laughs> Oh, that would have been fun. Yeah, clunk. Ten ten thousand dollars will be a place by planet. I'm sure he's taking that good. Thank you. Not a problem. Thanks, Kevin. These are lightweight, but great bricks, guys. That's a piece of our leftovers that we cut in half. And here's the block that we cracked and broke and took out. Well folks, this is our finished product. We'll let you know how it lasts through the winter. It was a fun project. Took a little over two and a half weeks. Uh, it does get pretty cold here in the winter. 10 15 below and plenty of snow so we'll let you know how that goes and we'll see you on the next video